Hello and welcome to our video. Today is something different. Today I'm going to be looking at the change log of the um, of the new update from Insurgents from like at the beginning of this year. Uh, I am currently working on updating them all behind like on a secondary client which is not used but I can test everything there. I'm trying to update it at all to whatever this update is. Um, and I'm just going to go over it so y'all know what the hell is ha going on. Um, and I'll give my thoughts on everything too. Um, so first up, Wish should now activate twice in our periodic orbit. That's a broken uh, ability and it's on a broken mon. It's like on Mega Jirachi, I think. And uh, I made it work like power up, like always power up. Um, I'm not sure, I, I probably won't try to implement it correctly, it's too much thought thinking and it's a dumb one anyway, it's a dumb ability. Um, ice types you need to share coal, that's always supposed, this this is for the, specifically for the game, so if the game doesn't have something that's already the case, then that's also in here, that's already the case that ice types are need to share coal, uh, present, whatever, morph, the, I, I can make that work uh, because it, it it copies a Pokemon, but if it has a Delta species, it copies it. it copies the Delta species instead. It's really weird. I, I'm not I'm not a fan of it at all. Um, and then there's an interesting one: change the effects of Achilles' heel to always deal super effective damage, two times damage, uh, against everything that's not a Ghost type pretty much so against a uh, let's say an agron that would normally four times resist normal this move is still super effective on it um, and like, it's also super effective on like every everything that's not a ghost really um, its base power is 45 and its PP is 15 um, this is an interesting move because I'm not sure if I like it I don't think it's broken per se it's not bro like I don't think it's broken but I do think that it encourages lazy prep, and that that like like you can run uh, curse or bulk up or calm not really calm my curse or bulk up rest sleep talk and then just Achilles heal because it hits everything you at least like it hits everything. There's nothing that resists it, and that's the problem I have with it because it, it's it's it, like considering its base power, it's not broken at all. It's like base ninety practically, but. It's it's just lazy and boring, and I'm, I'm I'm not a fan of that. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna inter implement it, especially because it it literally everything gets literally everything gets that move, and I don't really want to do, deal with that. But I might be I might force myself to deal with it. Um, like what what like my sanity is less important than this for like in my opinion, but regardless. Um, and then Delta Hoopa signature move Spirit Away, which is a base 100 fairy type move physical that works like Sky Drop, except that it doesn't have the drawbacks of Sky Drop. It's pretty much you take opponent away for a turn, and next turn you do 100 damage. That's pretty much all you do. Like it in singles, there is pretty much no uh, difference between. Just having that move or being a single turn move because it doesn't really change anything, but yeah. Uh, and yeah, that it's it's a pretty good move, and you'll see why. Um, uh, you'll see why it's it's really nice that Delta Hoopa, Delta Unbound Hoopa, un un Unbound Delta Hoopa gets that move. Um, Amplifier is nursed from 1.5 to 1.25. That's a huge deal. Like it, instead of to being a spec, it's only like it's less than life orb. Um, it's literally worse than uh, punk rock. Um, so this is a huge nerf to uh, mega. What what moms get it? Amplifier. Me mega uh, flygon. Mega channel. Delta wheezing, delta coughing, and uh, as you will see, 
a new line that also gets amplifier. You might have seen it. I'm not sure what the screen region exactly is, but yeah, it it just got nerfed a lot, and it makes like it was broken. Like I'm not gonna say it wasn't broken. It was kind of broken, uh, especially on Mega Flygon. But now it's a lot less broken, and it's definitely manageable now. I think, um, and it was definitely necessary. Although, like a qu only quarter boost, it, it it's it's okay. It's it could definitely have been a lot worse. Uh, ancient ancient presence, I don't really care. Ancient presence, I still don't really care. Um, Pokemon with Omni type no, mute circle. I don't even know. Is this the uh, the primal Giratina one? I don't even know. And I think Omni type is a primal uh, Arceus one. I might just choose them or give a shit about that. Uh, I don't even think I gave. I think I gave Primal Arceus Proteid and Primal Garatina like, I don't know, I think I gave like Neuroforce for like no reason at all. Uh, uh, weather interactions, back, doesn't really matter. Night, okay, now there are a lot of uh, new moon changes. Uh, Nightmare reduces HP by a half instead of a quarter in new moon. Uh, situational, could be good, but still situational, although it does do a half damage, which is very good. Powerful. Uh, bad dreams reduce HP by a quarter instead of an eighth in New Moon. So Darkrai is slightly better, but Darkrai also gets abs absolution, I think, like a specs in the darkness. So um, yeah, uh, yeah. So Darkrai is usually banned anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Pressure drops PP by an extra point in New Moon. Uh, makes stall do possible in New Moon, although it's still only for a few turns. Uh, it could end up mattering i guess I, it, it's i just implemented this like i've implemented all these changes already uh geomancy boosts are halved on our new moon situational only for Xerneas. ubers doesn't really matter flash decreases accuracy by two stages i'm banning flash anyway flash is a stupid move but it works uh, illuminate increase evasion by one wait evasion wait evasion i don't know it's accuracy Huh. Maybe I should make a note. I thought it was accuracy, so... Uh, illuminate boost evasion by one, by 1.25. I'm not sure if I, if I like that. Honestly, I, I don't know if I like that. I thought it was accuracy, which would be pretty cool. Like, I, I that makes sense too, because you can see your opponent. But okay, regardless... Um, Illuminate now is an effect. Whether I will implement that is a different question because it does boost evasion, and I'm not a huge fan of evasion. Uh, I don't think I will implement that because that's kind of a bullshit move to allow people to just have one point. Like, wait. No clue. Uh, I'm not. I don't. How the hell does evasion even work? I think it's the same as snow cloak. Because there's a. Hmm. I think it's the same as snow cloak. Yeah, I think it's the same as snow cloak and uh, sand veil. So it's technically that, but for uh, weather. As I have those abilities, they are banned if you have a mon that can set up that weather on your team. Because I don't like the like the build. It's like, in theory, there's no real downside. It's just that it's just annoying. It's just annoying, and I don't want to deal with it. Um, Fairy Aura is relevant in the new moon. Uh, Turnius Ubers works, but it's not really relevant. Uh, Dark Aura. Uh, this is this this work. I think I tried, but it just. It didn't didn't want to work properly. Um, so yeah, uh, it does uh, 1.666 infinite sixes damage in new moon and 1.33 in not new moon, pretty much. So 
in new moon it's a lot it's a bit more it does like a quarter a third of the usual damage extra but it's still certainly is of not so if only ubers doesn't really matter uh, reflect and light screen are nerfed in uh new moon it oh they you only take uh wait wait no they are buffed they're actually buffed in uh new moon i i'm not sure why now now attacks do uh, forty percent of the damage instead of fifty percent of the damage. I don't know why this was necessary, but apparently it was. Um, Moonlight heals two thirds of users user HP under New Moon. This is kind of big because things like Delta Rose Ray Del uh, and Lunatone, they their healing is Moonlight, and they like having New Moon active, so that definitely will help them in. Uh, in the future update since I think previously it was actually healing less than half in new moon which actually makes way more sense it makes no sense for this thing moonlight to do more in new moon because new moon means there is literally no moon like no visible moon like why would it, there, there is no moonlight in new moon but okay it makes no sense but I guess kinda um, and it d does heals less in sunny day and harsh sunlight, uh, which kind of makes sense. I I'm not sure, but I I I made it changes. It works. I'm not gonna uh, not gonna complain about it. Implemented rec replica Pokemon battling system. I read that through that once and wanted to not ever consider that. Um, Eight times a week to being a type in inverse, you're immune to it. I'm not even like I don't care about inverse. Uh, reworked the system for learning. Uh, I'm not sure how this this ability makes me want to not do this. It makes me not want to go with this. Um, uh, it does um, it does more damage depending on a lower HP. I could code it, I don't really want to, I'm probably gonna, but I don't want to. And it's only by Mega High Dragon and it, that thing is broken anyway. So I'm not sure how I feel about implementing this. Um, they kinda just made it a bit more balanced I think. But it's it's still uh, it's still not that balanced. Um uh, yeah, and uh, Life Warrior and Permafrost are re got reworked. They're still incredibly unviable. Like not not okay. Not that's not what I meant. They're incredibly unbalanced. Um, because you can stack Life Warrior five times, and every layer you get a twenty percent chance to paralyze. And Permafrost is the same, but ten percent chance to freeze. Like if you have three layers of permafrost, every time anything that's not an ice type or a fire type switches in, it has a 30% chance to just get frozen for no good reason. That's that's stupid. Like you could take advantage of that so easily. And life fire is even worse. Like getting paralyzed, uh, you can't cure par par paralysis without uh without heal bell or something similar. So that's kind of just broken. Um, Unleaved, I think, is for Mega Sun Flora's ability. I never implemented it, I just gave it a drought instead, and I stand by that. Because it got Weather Ball, as you will see soon see. It got Weather Ball, and now I'm gonna keep Drought because it's actually fun. Um, so, Frick Unleaved. Uh, Chlora Fury, plus one speed, plus X in special attack for two turns, where X is the number of faintest Pokemon in the trainer's party. I don't even know how the hell I'm gonna go that, so I'm not gonna try. I'm gonna keep what it used to be, and that's plus one special attack, plus one special defense on switching, uh, and it doesn't go away. It's it's still not that broken, to be honest. So it's 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 fine. I'm not gonna change it. It's stupid. Like like I can't go that. I'm I'm bad, so I can't. I'm not gonna. Um, I'm also lazy. Uh, and here are uh, some, I think, moveset changes and things like that. Uh, Unleashed Delta Hoopa is now Flying Fairy. Unleashed is Unbound. 
Flying Fairy as it should have been. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea what it should have been, but it had, it now is a flying and fairy type. Uh, it has its own moveset. I have yet to look at that moveset, but it it apparently does. Um, Whismur gets Amplifier as their secondary abilities. Uh, so X Amplifier explodes is a thing. So Specs Amplifier Boom Burst. It's stronger than it was before. It sounds like fun. Thank God it's not still 1.5 because that would have been stupid. Every team out of Ghost type just drops instantly. Um, the Slacker of Line got knockoff. Uh, I'm not sure why, but it, it gets it. And I'm gonna try to stay consistent to this as much as I can because, like, that's like the entire point. Um, Frostlass got Wisp. It already got Wisp. Like, what? It already gets Wisp. I'm not sure. Uh, Arceus gets Dazzling Gleam. Fine. It's an Uber anyway. I don't really care. Delta Mawal gets Sludge Bomb and Acid. Uh, neither of these matter at all. I don't think these matter in the slightest. Uh, it's not a special attacker. Sludge Bomb is okay, I guess. Uh, but I don't think it's relevant because it doesn't really care. Uh, Livani got U-Turn, which is honestly pretty good. I think already got Baton Pass, but now it's U-Turn, which does damage, and that's honestly just better. It's also pretty fast, so you can choose between Baton Pass and U-Turn, but it wants to be fast or slow. It can Baton Pass uh, set up like, well, but this is not Baton Pass. It's regardless. It can U-Turn out, do damage. It's it's a good, like, it's a good uh, buff. Delta Solosis, Duos, and Reunicus got Power Jam, and thank god, they needed it. They really needed the, that move. <laughs> because they didn't have special rock type coverage besides, like, did they get Ancient Power? I'm not even sure if they got Ancient Power. But it, they were so crippled by not having Power Jam, and this is, like, this is all they could possibly ask for, besides a better move than Power Jam, and a rock, special rock step, but... Who cares about that when you can give them a bad move instead? Uh, Earthquake got removed from Delta Qu Trouble and Crystal the Cake form. Uh, oh, again, thank God. That thing was kind of stupid, and now it's less stupid. Because now it doesn't really hit uh, Steel Tips as hard. Still gets Brick Break though, so it, it still hits them, just not as hard. Like uh, a quarter of the damage got. Taken away by Brick Break over Earthquake as the coverage option, but it's still kind of broken. Uh, but it struggles with uh, poison types now too, so it it struggles with coverage, um, and that's really all you can ask for <laughs> when you're facing a Crystal Cake. You don't want to have it, like it not having Earthquake is great. Missing No, I don't care about mi Missing No. Mega Dot Glalie as as. They get said better ability, it gets reckless. I mentioned this in the Delta Lady video, I think. It gets reckless, and that's insanely good. And they also give a flare bit. It gets reckless, flare bit, reckless head smash. That thing's gonna, gonna smash with its head. head. Uh, it's gonna wreck everything. Like, what's gonna switch into a base 120 attack? The base 150 power head smash. Stab. Reckless. Nothing is gonna switch into that. Nothing at all. So yeah. But it's still a rock and fire type and that's awful and it can definitely be checked quite easily, but it's still really, really strong. Um and that's that's fun. Mega Flygon got nerfed again. Uh ten points from its speed got put into defense, making it 120 speed and 90 defense. Um it's not Insanely fast anymore. It's still fast. There's not that much between 120 and 130, but it it needs a lot more speed investment to outspeed things. It's a it's a big nerf. Um, Medusa Rain Dragonify Flat So clones. They already were for me, so I don't really care. Mega Delta Mobile gets a Arena Trap. That's kind of stupid. I can't I can't lie. That is kind of stupid because, like, yeah, Arena Trap is like a really good ability. And Delta Mobile is a dark and grass type, meaning that it can trap two 
amazing types pretty easily. It can trap. Like, this is Pursuit, but on a new level, right? <laughs> it's a dark type that can literally trap psychic types, trap ghost types. This is so good with, like, really powerful fighting types. This is such good support for that. Um, really powerful fire types, just trap the rock types, trap the water types. Like, what are they gonna do? Nothing. They're gonna die. Because they can't switch. It's so stupid. Oh, wait, ghost types can switch anyway. Regardless, it's still stupid. Like, you force shed shells on mons. Like, it's so good because of its typing. It traps water types. It literally kills every water type it wants to kill. And that's stupid because now the argument is just switch out forehead. It doesn't matter. You can't switch. It's so good. I think Mega Delta Mawa is like actually borderline bannable from being actually borderline garbage <laughs> in one change. And that's, it's just insane. Um, Megadot Sableye, they gave it dry skin, which is huge. It That's also huge. Uh, and they gave it fiery dance, less huge. Fire dance is okay move. Uh, but dry skin, it's a rock and fire type. It need, It's quad weak to water. So not being quad weak to water is actually huge. Um, yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, and yeah, the heals from water type moves is only quite weak to ground now. It still doesn't really get recovery and it's still pretty garbage, but it's a lot less garbage. It's just more balanced garbage, right? It's still not good, but it's just l less bad. That's pretty much what it comes down to. Uh, Gluttony on Delta Catalyst and Delta S Cavalier became heat proof. Uh, not that relevant. To be fair, not that relevant. Simple is by far the best ability they get, and it's not even that close. Um, because they run simple trick room swords, then and then just play rough earthquake or drill run. I don't know. I don't want to. They get one of them, uh, I think. So heat proof. It can be situational. I think it also gets like slack off, so it could run defensively with heat proof if you wanted to. If you really struggle with something like Victini, I guess you could do that. But or like the before men mentioned Mega Glalie, Mega Delta Glalie, with uh, Reckless Flare Blitz, I guess you could run Heat Proof, you would resist fire, but in generally, simple is better. Um, Iron Fist on Delta Trico line replaced with Guts, I, res I made a video on the uh, Delta Sceptile recently, uh, every set I made with Iron Fist I put Guts there too, because Guts is a lot better. It's it, it's a lot better. It can turn to a flame orb, guts, dragon dance, and then just click buttons because everything will die. Okay, not everything will die. It's just insanely strong. You you just double your attack, and they have drain punch and outrage and all things. I think, I think it even gets like high jump kick. It's kind of stupid. Uh, and another one I made a recently made a video on, and it this actually confused me because I didn't realize this was a change. Uh, at that point in time, but pickpocket on Delta Wooper and Quackside got replaced with pickup, uh, an object, not objective, but pretty much objectively worse ability. I'm not sure why they nerfed it. It's not the best ability anyway, because it's flash fire, I think, which is not, which doesn't resist new normally, so it's actually a good ability on it. Uh, but anyway, it gets pickup now. I guess it's not going to be. It, it, it does have uh, competitive fireball like. It does can be used competitively, but it's just not that good. Um, and with that, I mean, it's really bad. Uh, Delta Pidgey, Delta Pidgeotto, Delta Pidgeot. They lost by then. They, okay, you can read. Wait, you can't see that. I didn't. Here we go. I forgot to scroll. Uh, del those deltas. Uh, all of that, you can just read that. I'm not gonna read that. It pretty much comes down to they lose bite, they lose crunch, but they get dragon voice, which is. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, it's the strongest uh, dra special dragon type move they could get besides Draco. It's it's an it's inaccurate, but it's strong. Uh, and Mega Delta Pidgeot kind of wanted that pretty badly. I don't know if it gets Draco. It might still get Draco, and in that case, not really worth it. But it's unfortunate it lost Crunch, to be honest. Uh, but it might still get Night Slash or Knock Off or things like that. Uh, Fur Coat on Delta Duck Trio got replaced. Wait, no. Wait, what? 
that the doctor here lost I like a uh, slush rush what the hell I don't remember putting this on I'll, I'll check if uh, Delta doggy look uh, loses slush rush gains uh, oblivious I guess I was not aware of that that's actually garbage it used to be okay with ice cleats, like I guess it's fast anyway, but and fur coat is probably still a better ability, but oblivious is like kinda bad. Um uh, so yeah. Delta Tense Crew got nerfed so hard. It lost for generator, the only reason it's even viable in the first place, and got replaced with Storm Drain, which it already resisted water it already resists water, but now it's immune to it. Like, it's coverage options are garbage. Like, it doesn't have good co coverage options. So, why give it Storm Drain? Like, Regenerator is by far the best part about it, and now it loses that, and that's actually really sad. Um, Delta Doduo line got Low Kick, Low Sweep, and Superpower. Uh, Superpower is the only... Low kick is kind of uh, noteworthy, but mainly superpower he helps with steel types, helps with bulky normal types, help, helps with rock types. It's a good physical move. Um, helps helps out a bit. It got like garbage moves before. Now it's okay. Um, no artist snow cloak switch swapped on Delta Hoodoo line doesn't really matter. Uh, still gets the same abilities. Um, replace illuminate on Delta Chincho and Lantern with a nerf. Uh, and Illuminate is kind of worthless, like it could get out something, like it used to be actually useless, but it did get something, as I mentioned earlier, but a nerf is like by far better, I really like a nerf, it makes you, means you cannot eat berries, uh, which is really nice. Um, Mega Delta Giraffe Rig, yes, Intimidate instead of Filter, um, I do think Filter is a good ability, but it was only weak to like, Fire, Ground, is that it? Was only weak to fire and ground? I think so. Like that's actually not good. Like it dies to ground anyway, and fire. Like I guess, but you die to ground anyway, so it doesn't really matter that you filter. And intimidate is pretty good. And I think the regular, like the non mega, non mega form, already has intimidate, so you can like double intimidate. I guess that's pretty cool. Um. Competitive on the C dot line got removed and uh, C dot got static and the other two got hubris. Hubris. I do think competitive is actually better because like you need a kill to get research hubris uh, and with competitive you just need to have uh, it's it's more situation but like intimidate webs like random drops like they all trigger the competitive. I think hubris. I don't think it gets that many kills and if it does it gets revenged quickly anyway. It's it's okay I guess. I prefer competitive personally because it can allow you to just nuke some like wet teams or something like that. Um, Delta Hoopa got Dazzling Gleam helps with the Unbound form, which is now a fairy type. Besides that, it's just a generally good move. Uh, Zygarde Cube doesn't really matter. Uh, Mega, Shadow, Mega Shadow Mewtwo now has an ability that gives it step dark type moves. That's that's, that's not broken at all. Uh, it all, I think it already has stab on dark type moves because it's a dark type. Um, it's uber, it's uber, so I don't really care. Sun current is weather ball, yay! Drought, mega elephant flora is a thing now, let's get it. Uh, level up moves for Protean and Delta. Wait, for Protean and Delta? What do you mean for Protean and. Level up moves for Protean and Delta did. I don't get it. I don't get what you mean by that. I don't. I don't. I don't understand this sentence. But point is, it gets like metronome. It gets a new move. It gets like after you, over like me first. One of the two. It gets a uh, mirror move, mimic, uh, copycat. Like moves like that. It gets moves like that, which is kind of weird. Cool. It also has protein, so it does get like stab boosts on every move it copies. But it's still kind of garbage. Uh, Mega Delta Lot Mini Infiltrator over Hypercutter. Uh, that's not. Hypercutter wasn't bad. It blocks uh, Intimidate now. Um, 
enemies you cannot get your attack dropped um which is honestly like at all even like wait wait Hypercutter shouldn't even block intimidate because it already drops the tech lower. I'm not. What what the hell am I saying? I don't know. But infiltrator is a good move. Uh, bypasses screens, bypasses substitutes. That's a really all it does. But it, that's good. That's really good. It's like it, something can sub up and you can just not care. Which me, I think that's a good uh, Lopney buff. Mega Delta Lopney buff. Delta Scissor gave tough class instead of Scrappy. Um, because it was kind of underpowered compared to Scyther, <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, but the, sorry for the cut, I got interrupted. As I was saying, uh, Delta Scissor got Tough Claws instead of Scrappy. Uh, Gumi, Tarantrum, Galti, Psyguard, Delta Melodic, Delta Hydreigon, Delta Agron, Delta Hexos, Yamega, Amphros, Heliodisc, all those lines get Dragonify. Wait, no, only the first two lines and then the other mons, I think. They get Dragonify, it's a decent move on Dragon types, they can use it on like Fairy types and then hit it with a Draco Me or something stupid like that and get a kill, which is kind of cool. Um, it's a respectable move, honestly. Delta Aggron gets Heat Crash. Delta Aggron sets Sun with Drought. It's a Fire type. It's really, it's decently strong and it's really heavy. Heat Crash is the perfect move for that mall, like genuinely. <laughs> and that will do a lot of damage. It's gonna do a lot of damage, and I'm excited to see it. Uh, Zygarde, Zygarde, already knew that, it already doesn't change anything. Stunfisk is Volt Switch, uh, Mega Stunfisk is Athenian, aka huge power but special. And getting Volt Switch, that's kinda, that's kinda big, not gonna lie. That is like 40% to leave, like, if something switches out, you still have like 40% to it, and that's like kinda sad. And then you're gonna revenge with anything, you just, it's so kinda stupid with being a pivot too. Um, Yukari gets Iron Head, bad Meteor Mesh, I guess. Uh, then a Dazzling Gleam, that thing needed Dazzling Gleam. Or any special fairy move, because it didn't have any yet, and that's sad. Uh, Meganium got Calm Mind and Moonblast. Why does Meganium get Moonblast, but the Dene doesn't? This is just rude. Um, but uh, regardless, uh, this makes the Mega Meganium kind of broke, because that thing has Magic Bounce, I think. I'm not uh, positive, but I think it has magic bounce and it's a grass and fairy type. And now it has Calm Mind and Moonblast. Already got Dazzling Gleam, but now it has Calm Mind and Moonblast. Ah, why? Why Why did they have to do this to me? I hate Meganium so much, and now it's actually kind of re re reasonably usable. Um, Delta Ditto, not really relevant. Uh, added a Whirlpool tut Tutor. Uh, Okay, added newly created tutor moves into the game. Again, okay, I don't really know what those tutor moves are. I don't even know what gets Whirlpool now, but things get Whirlpool and that's that's just the way it is. Um, Zygarde, re not relevant. Uh, we, there we go. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Removed event moves from Muse. Learn set, it's fine. Delta Trico now gets Aurosphere by tutor. And specifically, set targets Draco Meteor by level up instead of Focus Blast. I still still think it's Focus Blast by TM, so that doesn't change anything. Uh, but it, its special move pool is vastly increased, which is quite pretty nice. Uh, I talked about this thing recently. Anyway, anyway, who pinged me? Okay. Uh, Corrode added to more mons, Lunar Cannon, same thing. Latios and Latias get Dragon Voice at level 61. I still think it's a bad Draco, so it's it's okay. Um doesn't really matter. It it goes past sub, that's really the best thing I can say about it. It's inaccurate though. Um Delta Shinx got sniper removed again vampiric instead, which is an ability that heals a quarter of the damage dealt by contact moves. Um which are already implemented. And it works, so that's cool. Uh, Dragon Skull and Dragon Fang boost Delta Clamperals, uh, Easement or Attack, respectively, by two by two times. Um, uh, it's pretty much like deep sea items for regular Clamperal, but now, for, like on the physical side, which is honestly better because it's it, it, it's better physically anyway. I think. Um, 
well, not necessarily. It doesn't really get much move, many moves anyway. Uh, snowballs doesn't really matter. Shadow Mew Shadow Mew Earth Night Flash, it's fine. And now you have you have UFI UFI UFI. It, it gets those moves. It gets a lot of moves. It didn't get many moves before. Now it gets a lot of moves. Uh, I'll just go through them very quickly. Call mine Toxic, Sunny Day, Rain Dance, Solar Beam, Shadow Ball, Airy Lace, Recycle Focus Blast, Energy Ball, Skill Swap, New Moon, Psychic, Thunder Wave, Gyro Ball, Wild Charge, Voltage, Shock Wave, Dream Eater, U Turn, Flash Cannon, Truck Group, Acrobatics, Dark Pulse, Dazzling Gleam, Lunar Cannon, Sky Drop, Ally Switch, Echo to Voice, Secret Powder, Secret Power, Secret Power, they misspelled it, Flash, Telekinesis, Fly, Metronome, Mimic, Snore, Water Pulse, Signal Beam, Endeavor, Uproar, Bounce, Sun Headbutt, Hyper Voice, Sky Tech, Block, Roleplay, After You. <sighs> Helping Hand, Trick, Magic Code, Magna Roy, Stillwind, Magic Room, Wonder Room, Gravity, Vacuum Wave, Rollout, Swift, Acid, Meteor Mesh, Sap Cannon, Electro Ball, Baton Pass, Wish, Extra Sensory, Defog, Cell, and Celebrate. <laughs> it got a lot of moves. It got def uh, notably Calm Mind, Toxic, Dazzling, Gleam, Focus Blast, Full Switch, Defog, Trick, uh, Wish. That's like, and like some other coverage moves, but most notably those specifically. Uh, it's it's got a lot more like it's a lot better now uh, and yeah also gets cosmic and cosmic power huh I don't think I added cosmic power in the I should know it. note you uh, you Yuf, cosmic power yay who wants to face cosmic power anything I don't want to oh a sword power too god fucking damn it sword power uh, I don't want to face this thing ever. Uh, Delta Care Blast event doesn't really matter. Uh, Machamp now learns Drain Punch. I'm not sure why, but it does. Um, Delta Drift Limb now learns Inferno instead of Heat Wave. And there's Hurricane. It gets No Guard as an ability. No Guard Inferno is stupid. <laughs> it's literally <laughs> Willow is plus uh, a stronger flamethrower in one move. It's stupid. Uh, Delta Magic and it's Moonblast instead of Earth Power. I still get Earth Power by Tutor, so it doesn't like Earth Power doesn't get removed. Same for Heat Wave on Drift Limb. Heat Wave is still a Tutor, so it gets it anyway. Uh, but you want to run Inferno? Why wouldn't you? It's stronger and it burns always. Uh, but yeah, Moonblast on Delta Magic Gem is huge. It also has Athenian, and it used to have Dazzling Gleam. Moonblast is a bit stronger. Uh, and then last two things uh, that matter. Drought to Soul Rock and knocked into Lunatone. I already made those changes. Like before this update even was re re revealed, I already made those changes. So nothing changes there. So that's uh, the entire change log. I'm also considering giving uh, moves that were tutors or TMs or whatever TR TRs in Gen 7 or si 7 or 8 and adding them to Delta Pokemon because they were created before the that was a thing. So yeah, um, I might make a video on those two, those specific two, but I have not even thought about that yet. So yeah, this is just a video explaining what everything is going to change between season one and season two, uh, barring that those moves, obviously. So yeah, that's the video. See y'all next, whatever, like tomorrow, probably going to be another Delta analysis video. So bye.